Today, we're rounding up the best high chairs of 2023, according to Babylist Gear Expert. And these are handpicked from all of the ones on the market, so you know they're gonna be good. Here are the six criteria to keep in mind when picking a high chair. Number one, space. How much space do you have in your house for a high chair? Second, lifestyle. How are you gonna use this high chair? Is it going to grandma's house? Is it staying at your house? Clean, are they easy to clean? Are they wipe downable? And do they have features that make them easier to clean? And foldability. Is it easy to fold and put away? Because you don't want these things always taking up so much space in your house. Durability, are these high chairs gonna last for multiple kids? And does it matter to you that they turn into a booster or just a regular chair? And safety, kids are wiggly. So we wanna make sure that they're safe. Does it come with a three point harness, a five point harness? Is there a foot rest? All right, let's dive into number one. First up, we have the Ikea Antelope $30 high chair. What a great price point. Daniel, what do you think about that? I love the price point because this is all you need. You don't need a bunch of different features. It's got the raised edges, so, you know, the food will not fall off too easy, and it's so easy to build. Literally, these four legs right here snap in super easy, put the table on done. Because it's so affordable, you're not getting a booster, you're not getting a footrest, or a bunch of the other bells and whistles with other high chairs. But this is really all you need. And it goes up to three years old. And there's definitely a lot of leg space in here too. I want to say that. I will say this one looks a lot easier to clean than the one I have. I love that everything just seems like it's easy to wipe down. You can even wash it in the sink. The most important part for me are the legs because I feel like you don't expect food to get down there, but when babies move with their hands and stuff, food gets stuck down here. And it's important to have legs that are easy to wipe down as well as the tray. You could just wipe this whole thing down or even take it outside and just hit it with the hose. We recommend this for families who need an affordable option, but also don't need all the bells and whistles. All right, next up, we have the Graco Slim Snacker. It's 80 bucks and it's a fan favorite because of its small footprint and this fold and easy to put right back up. And this is super easy to build and I am no handyman. So like it comes basically out of the box. All you have to do is put this on and to unfold it. And now you have a high chair. Super large tray. It also comes with a cup holder, easy to remove and easy to wipe down. As for the seat, the material is kind of like a nylon or something that feels waterproof, super easy to wipe down and clean. It's also removable if you need to wash it. And then there's a five point harness on this one. And as you can see, a little different from the previous one, this one is a lot larger, a lot taller, which we both prefer. It's just nicer to have it closer when you're taller and feeding baby, maybe as you're standing or walking back and forth. Another nice feature is that the chair reclines so your baby can be in here from infancy. We have the footrest as well. And then I love this part. It has a basket which this is the only high chair we have that has a basket. And they can use it for three years or 40 pounds or whichever one comes first. Well, I love this high chair, the Graco Slim Snacker. I love this so much because I love the small footprint. I love that you can just get it out of your kitchen and very wipe downable and hosable. Yeah, I would agree. I think in my head when I was purchasing my high chair, I had pictured this height and this would be more comfortable longer for my baby and awesome that it folds up and you can kind of get it out of the way. And great price point, win, win, win. And we recommend this high chair for families that are low on space and for families that are worried about messes because this is very easy to clean. Next up on our list, we have the Fisher Price Space Saver at $54. So this one's nice because it virtually takes up no extra space. It just clicks onto one of your dining room chairs. So this one you can use from infancy because it does recline. And then you can use it up until about three years old or 40 pounds, whichever comes first. And the tray easily comes off just like this. And the tray also stores behind the seat for easy storage. And the nice part is that you can toss the tray into the dishwasher or you can just uh, remove the fabric and it's machine washable. So it's pretty easy to clean. I will say there are a lot of little divots. So that might be a little more difficult if food dries or something like that. And also it is a five point harness. Also, this one turns into a booster, which is nice if you want it to grow with baby a little bit. But what do you think about the high chair that attaches to the dining room chair? I mean, I like it. We've been talking a lot about space when it comes to high chairs, and I think they do take up a lot of space and some you can't move. This one, you could pick 
pick this up and put it on your kitchen counter when you're done with it and then put it right back onto a chair when your kid is eating. And you could take this one on the go with you because there's a handle on the back and your kid has these little compartments that don't come with booster seats at restaurants. I also think it could be a fun chair to have on the floor and let baby play. You can do a little sensory bin. This, this tray is kind of deep and it's still budget friendly, which is nice. We recommend this chair for families who have a smaller space like living in an apartment or for families who want baby to eat at the table but don't have the traditional high chair or the height for them to do so. All right, now we have the Juvie Nook. It's $130 and something that is awesome about it, this fold. I love a good fold. Look at that. And then you just take it with you. So I love the design and then it folds down with one hand but you're gonna need like a couple hands here just to fold it back up. There you go. Perfect for storage in your small apartment or house and just nice to get it away, hide it a little bit. So a nice large tray. It also has the removable top as well in case you wanna wash this one and leave this one on. I do like that the way the tray opens, it just slides on one side so that you're not you know, putting the turn on the floor and then putting your baby in, it just stays up here nice and sanitary. It does have a five point harness. So this one babies can use from six months up to 50 pounds. I will say some parents aren't a fan about how the seat reclines um, up top, especially as baby gets older, it's just not as comfortable maybe. So that's something to think about. I think this material is gonna be very hard to clean. All I'm looking at this and I just see just where food could get in here and it'd be hard to like get some of the stains out for this. But I will say this material is really soft though. It feels like a really nice car seat yeah. is what it feels like. So like I, I love the way this feels. I just think it may be a little bit harder to clean. It is important to note that this is machine washable so you can just take it off when it gets dirty. Another nice feature is that much like some of the other ones, this is all easy to wipe down as well. You have the foot rest down here, which you can wipe down. And then you can also adjust the tray. So as baby gets bigger, you can just press in these buttons on the side. My overall thought about this one is, I think if you're looking for something that is nice, that baby can grow in and easy to clean, wipe downable and still chic and cute. This one is probably my favorite on the list so far. Yeah, this is another great one for space savers for sure. And also just being able to not have your high chair out all the time. You can go and put this in another room. You can put this behind something because the fold is super easy and you can just carry it, take it with you, put it in your car. It is also very comparable to the Graco Slim Snacker. So. If you're thinking you like this one, but want something that's a little more budget friendly, I would definitely go with the Slim Snacker, which is at $80. This one's at $130 and it does have kind of a chic look, but you're pretty much getting the same thing. We recommend this for families who want a full size high chair, but just don't want it out all the time. Next up, we have the Skip Op Eon at $165. So as the prices are going up, the high chairs are becoming more evolved. This one actually, you can use three different ways. So you can use it as a high chair, you can use it as a booster chair, and you can also use it as a big kid chair. So it doesn't fold, but it is pretty easy to move from mode to mode with just a screwdriver. It also has a removable tray. You can just toss this in the dishwasher after baby's done eating. And also this tray removes just going like this. And then this can stay on or you can remove it also as well. There's also a five point harness. And this thing is just like really stylish too <laughs> because it has the wood legs here. It's like got the neutral color. It's like this would actually look really good in your house. But also I will say as we're talking about these wood legs, I had the distinct pleasure of choosing a high chair with wood legs. And I will say I love the look but it is much more difficult to clean food off of, especially things like raspberries or blackberries stain the wood a little bit. As for usage, baby can start using this at six months and use the chair up until about 33 pounds or three years old. And then when you turn it into a big kid chair, they can use that up to 80 pounds. Another nice feature is that you can switch out the footrest so you can just pop this up and it flips over to give baby some more space or some less space as they grow. So as we're getting through our list, you'll start to see that the prices are going up and the aesthetic 
is definitely getting a lot prettier. In my opinion, I think I would rather sacrifice the look of it and have something that folds up like the previous uh, two, like the Graco and the Juvie Nook. What do you think about a style like this? I love the style and what it looks like, but being able to move this, like you can't fold it. This is pretty much gonna be sitting either in the corner of your kitchen when you have a dinner party and you need to move the high chairs, or it's just gonna be sitting at your table all the time. So if you really like it and you like the way it looks, this is for you. But that's just something to think about before you're thinking about like, oh no, I don't want this to look like a baby seat in my house. It's still gonna look like a baby seat either way. <laughs> so as for the footprint of this one, it's definitely one of our larger footprints. Um, the legs go out pretty wide. I will say the nice part about this is that you can change it into the booster seat and clip it into one of your dining room chairs if you don't wanna sacrifice some space. So we recommend this chair for families who are looking for attractive but productive baby chairs. All right, now we have Lalo the chair. This high chair is $235 and it has three different modes. It's a high chair and then it breaks down into a play chair and it is a booster seat with an attachment that comes with it. And your baby can use this as a high chair from four months old up until three years old or they can use the big kid chair from two years old to seven years old. And it's all non-toxic materials and sustainable beech wood for the legs. It also comes with this really nice cushion cover. It's also easy to just snap it off and I believe you can toss it in the washer, which is nice. I will say that this does not feel like it's as easy to wipe down as the other materials. So something to think about when you are purchasing. And then the table comes off like this. And you have the five point harness down here. And we do have the leg rest down here that is reversible, but you do need to use a screwdriver to do that. As for the material and the tray, the tray is nice and large. It's a nice space for baby. It does have the raised edges, so nothing just falls off. The fabric, to me, it just doesn't seem like something that would just wipe off. If you spill something, you would definitely need to toss this in the washer. Yeah, it feels like a material that you would just, it, something would like soak in to it. I do like the wood here. This looks really nice. It's shorter and that's something that, you know, us tall people have to worry about too. But I think this is something that could kind of, you know, tuck into your table and look pretty good. And just like some of the other ones at the lower price points, they fold up, they go away. This is one that like you're, you know, you're gonna have to lift this one up, put it in a corner, but it's going to stay up and in your life. And as for the price point, I'd say it's great that you can use it up to seven years old. Obviously you have a few different modes that you can do that in, including the adapters, which is sold separately. So that's something else to keep in consideration when you're purchasing this. You can also choose to use it without the cushion. So again, it just snaps off. So that would be a little more easy if you wanted to wipe it down or you know you're eating something that may be particularly messy like spaghetti. As for the seat, I'd say the actual bottom part may be comparable to the other size but the back is shorter. So I have a similar high chair. My baby was climbing out of it earlier than I expected her to. So that's just something else to think about. I think the higher seats like the Graco or the Juvie Nook, those I think would have held my baby in a little longer because she's tall. Yeah, well, I mean, I have this and both of my kids have used, two of my kids have used this high chair so far and they have climbed out of it, but you know, you just, strap them in. We recommend this high chair for families that are looking for a long-term investment in their high chair and also someone's looking for it, maybe a green high chair and they like really modern looking baby furniture. Last on our list, we have the Stoka Trip Trap high chair at $400. This high chair is expensive but you can use it up to 242 pounds. Yeah, your kid could take this to college. So the classic bundle, which is what we have here, comes with the five point harness, the cushion, and also the gliders, which basically just keeps your baby from tipping over. This chair is also fully customizable and you can do it with the rung. So just move it down here with the seat. One, two, three, as you see the rungs right there. So once baby is big enough, you can lose the tray and you can just push the seat up to the table. This high chair doesn't break down easy, but it's meant to just look like it goes along with the rest of your furniture. Another nice, point about this chair is that there are no harsh chemicals, no phthalates, 
and they actually use non-toxic paint on the chair as well. So I think this high chair actually does blend in your house a little bit better than the other high chairs do. It's like big kid chair, it's gotta be somewhere else or it's gotta be on your table. I think this one just kind of could tuck right in. I will say at this price point, it's really nice that you can use this chair for a very long time, especially with the weight limit. You can put it in your playroom. It could be a chair around your house that you use. So that's a nice. And the fabric on this high chair is machine washable. Also, it's just built like really well. I will say another nice point about it is it does seem like it would be really easy to clean down just because there's not a lot of ridges. It's all very like kind of straight edges and stuff, which is nice when you're cleaning food off. So we'd recommend this for families looking for a long-term investment. It doesn't get much longer than this. And it's wonderful to just pull up to your table after you're done using the tray. And that's it, the best high chairs according to Baby List of 2023. Kayla, what was your favorite? My favorite was by far the Juvie Nook. I love that it closes really easy. It's slim and cute. I loved the Ikea Antelope. That was my absolute favorite. I loved it, no frills, easy to clean. Let us know which one's your favorite down in the comments below and which one are you adding to your Baby List registry?